All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to control a PTZ camera with OBS. This is an important part of the OBS Super User Guidebook because we're gonna use browser docs and we are going to use a plugin and they both vary a little bit, so it's gonna be pretty cool. Let's check it out. What's up guys, really quickly before we start, wanna mention you can get the OBS Super User Guidebook for free in the links below. You can also get a paperback copy on Amazon. If you like this video or you wanna see more videos like this, hit the like button below. And I wanted to mention just only 10% of our viewers are actually subscribed to this channel. So if you hit that red subscribe button, it really helps us. We're trying to make this channel as informative as possible. So if we're doing something wrong or you'd like for us to answer a question, let us know in the comments below and I'll be happy to reply. All right, so in this video, let's take a look at the OBS plugin for PTZ Optics cameras. I've been a big fan of this for a long time. It supports Xbox joystick control, so you can actually use your Xbox controller to control your cameras. There's a dockable feature, and there's a plugin with some really cool tools, so let's take a look. They're installed just like every other plugin, and there's a dockable panel as well that you can add custom browser docs to your OBS panels, your interface. So you can have, once you download them, open source camera controllers. So if we go in here and just choose like this large controller here, it'll open up in a web browser. And that's great. It actually will control the camera. But what we want it to do actually is pop it into OBS, into one of these panels. I'm going to create a new one just to bring it in here. This is the large controller. And so these are basically like web pages, but we can dock them into the OBS interface here. And once you do so, you just need to tell the software what the IP address of your camera is. Now I know the IP address of my camera is 192.168.1.60. And you just go ahead and do that. And then you do need to restart OBS quickly. So you Start it, close OBS once you've loaded the camera, and then you reopen it. And that just that just allows you for the first time you do it. The first time you put in a new IP address of camera, you need to open and close it. But now I have full PTZ control of this camera here. As you can see, remotely controlling a camera that's inside OBS. You guys can take a peek at our studio here. PTZ cameras are great for a live events. If you're doing a live event or you know, you're at a church or at a different place, you get a great opportunity to control your PTZ camera remotely. Now I'm going to zoom it back in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the plugin version of this as well. So there's a plugin and there's an automated, there's, there's a dock as well. The plugin's a little different. It's a little bit more responsive, honestly, than the web browser. And it actually shows you pictures of where the camera is going to go. Um, so you can click, and when you set a preset, the camera will actually go exactly where the picture is. So I'll just set one really quickly so you can see here. Let's go upwards a little. Set number four, and you'll see it takes a picture to give you an idea of where your PTZ camera is going to go. Now, the last thing I wanted to show with this, there's two more features. One is you do have the ability to use an Xbox joystick. So I've actually got one connected here, and you can see here now I can actually control the camera with my Xbox controller. So I know a lot of people like that, the ability to kind of zoom in and out with your Xbox controller. These are really affordable. You can get a USB connected Xbox controller. The other thing is there are hotkeys available. So when you install the plugin, you do get additional hotkeys that you can assign for PTZ camera control. You see move up, down, left, right, call preset, zoom in and out. So you can actually build PTZ controls directly into and Elgato Stream Deck. So that's pretty sweet. It's definitely a super user that wants to control the cameras that they're using inside of OBS in this way with the Xbox joystick, with image preview, with hotkeys, so much fun stuff. Let's keep moving because next is a four awesome OBS plugins for graphics. I'll see you in the next video.